doing a fuel pump on my Chevy Silverado 2002 and uh, this baby's got 300,000 miles on it and you be the judge this thing is in mint condition I bought it with 20,000 miles she's got 300,000 miles now and I take care of it uh, inside now it's my work truck my fish truck my camping truck and um, it's loyal to me and I'm gonna be loyal to her so uh, motors in good shape the only thing is my fuel pump indicator uh, for my fuel uh, how much I got is not working on my dash this is the second time I've been working on my fuel pump so I decided I'm gonna go on and I'm gonna learn how to do this I'm not gonna pay anybody one of the great ideas on YouTube was right there cutting a the hatch which you probably scratch your head and if you know about these Chevy Silverados they run forever if you take care of them but one of the number one things is the fuel pump issues so why didn't the manufacturer put a hatch in there they probably didn't want you touching the fuel pump they probably wanted you to take it to them and pay a certified mechanic a thousand dollars but in this day and age there's no money going around do it yourself YouTube University anyway so I cut the hatch I put a hinge on it then I'm gonna go over it then I'm gonna put my uh, my uh, plastic uh, bedding back over it then I'm gonna do it customized with some nice uh, diamond plate like I did my tailgate redneck macho style so anyway I ordered my fuel pump already fuel pump pet boys all the local auto parts places was excess of uh, 200 bucks cheapest one was like 235 most expensive one was three something got this one on auto parts warehouse and it looks like the standard one that's already in there because I'm about to pull it sure everybody and that was 60 bucks 58 bucks a tax and I paid it for rush mail because football season's here going to go tailgating this weekend and uh, 